Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a few options for applications that run on your Android device that help you control your home appliances using Z-Wave technology. This episode of XDA Developer TV is brought to you by Sony Mobile and the new Sony Xperia Tablet Z, now on sale at store.sony.com tablet. Be sure to check out Sony Mobile's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sony Xperia Dev. For this demonstration, I'm using a Verilite unit and that device connects to your home network. I'm also using this switch or this light switch that is a Verilite compatible Z-Wave technology type of a switch. And I'll be connecting it to one of the lights in the studio so that I can show you the automation part of this. The other thing is, uh, if we go to the manufacturer of the device, that's Mi Casa Verde, they give us a list of some of the applications that they divide, that they are supporting to connect to their systems and control. The main one we want to definitely cover is the Vera Mobile developed by Alexis Art. I think this is of all the basic kind of application. It's a free application to use with the Vera Light, uh, Vera Light system or the regular Vera systems. And um, it's very nice. It has all the functionality. It does not have voice, and that's one of the things I wanted to show you guys today. So if we go up to Automation HD, this one's developed by Garrett Power. Uh, this application does have voice, aesthetically looks a little bit better, kind of conforms to the whole holo theme um, on Android, and it works very nice. The other one we want to definitely cover is HAL Home Automation. This application also has voice control. It connects to your Vera by uh, setting up the account system. And it also has better predictive voice uh, recognition uh, systems. So the access to it, be able to talk in more natural. Uh, if you if you make a task or an item plural, it'll understand that. The other thing that we have on the market is Home Buddy, and that's developed by Rockstar Somar. And this application has voice recognition. I find it uh, it it's, looks better than Vera Mobile, but it doesn't have the same functionalities as the other ones. And I'll explain a little bit when I get into how it connects to uh, my Nest thermostat. Last but not least, we have Z House Home Control. And this one is the only paid application that I could find on that list. It's a $5 premium to get in. Aesthetically, it looks very nice, uh, but again, with the high steep price, uh, from the pictures, it looks nice, and I'm sure people are, are, you know, are satisfied with it. There's ups and downs as far as the reviews. Let's check out this applications on the device. Okay, so the first application we're going to look at is the Vera mobile application. When you log in, it already has pre it, I've already pre-configured all the applications, so we're not going to go through those options. It gives you the information of what I'm connected to. It tells me what type of connection I'm connected to. It also gives me the ability to look at my lights. These are the systems that I have. I have the Nest and the Office light. Now, Nest is listed here because I'm able to control it using an app via the Vera website. So it gives me the, uh, the option of using the Nest, controlling the temperature in my house, even though I don't have a Z-Wave type of a uh, device. Uh, the other thing, obviously, it gives me my alpha slide, and I'm able to turn it off. And wait a second, just accept, and then turn it on. So you can see how the, the light changed in this example over here. Um, overall, I don't have any other devices that I'm able to control, but if I do go under climate, it gives me the ability to control the temperature of my Nest thermostat. Okay, so we'll go home again. The other application we're going to look at is the Automation HD. Now, Automation HD is very nice because the aesthetics of the application itself are very, very well done. Their whole theme, it gives you the ability to go through the different rooms that you have set up. I've set up all these rooms already on the account online. And it's showing me my access to my Nest and my office light that I'm able, and again, I'm able to do the exact mm -hmm. same thing. I'm able to turn it off mm -hmm. and then turn it back on. I find that the delay on this one is a little less than the Vera mobile application. The other main benefit of here is uh, the ability to turn on and turn off your lights. Turn off office light. Mm -hmm. Turn on office light. Mm -hmm. And it works very well also for, for temperature. Um, what's the temperature? The other thing also you're able to do is to control the, the setting, setting the temperature via voice as well. Very nice. Downside of this application, no widget, uh, no way of making it automatically jump into voice. You have to open up the application and go in straight into it to be able to control. HAL is another application. 
HAL is another application that's available, in, uh, as I mentioned before, and it has a very nice functionality. Once you, once you open the application and turn it off, it leaves the option in the notification and it says local access so that I'm able to touch it and it takes me back in. So it's not a widget, but it's a better way of interacting with it. Um, I've had a little bit more challenge using the, uh, the HAL application over the uh, Autohomation HD, but it does recognize and it has a better uh, option of being able to turn on and turn off devices. Uh, so overall, turn off all lights. Off all lights. Turn on all lights. On all lights. And if you notice in this one, I was using the all command because when I try to use the specific turn on light, turn light on or turn office light on, I'm having a little bit of a challenge. But overall, it does work. I like the fact that I'm able to access it straight off the home page. Last but not least, the application that we're reviewing is the HomeBuddy application. I find HomeBuddy to be a little bit more limiting in the sense of, uh, as far as devices, it's not recognizing my Nest. My Nest is listed on the website. I, I understand that it's an app, so there is a configuration probably interface issue. Um, it does have voice voice recognition. Turn off lights. Doesn't find it. Turn office light off. I'm having a little bit of a challenge on this one, and uh, it does, as far as the explanation and more in detail, I find this to be um, still in development. It still needs to be uh, increased and in functionality and be better as far as what available on the market. Overall, hope you guys like this uh, this uh, real quick demo of the application themselves. I find that the Auto Homation HD works the best for me. Again, I wish it had a widget to be able to use it off the home screen as opposed to having to go in there to turn on the voice. But overall, I find it to be uh, the, the best aesthetically pleasing and the visually pl uh, pleasing uh, of all the applications. The main benefits of using these applications, obviously, is the ability to be able to use voice. Uh, not all of them have it, but that's one of the main application benefits. The other thing is the ability to do remote access. They will work within your home network as well as being on mobile network outside of the house as long as you set it up via the Mikasa Verde website and set up the, your credentials inside the application. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing that I want to make sure that you guys, and I didn't get a chance to show you guys here, is that you're able to set up scenes. So if you're familiar with Tasker and the way Kevin explained how to set up scenes in there, uh, you're able to set up certain scenes and then trigger them to be able to turn on basically, you know, uh, either being able to, when you come home, you want the office light on, the kitchen light on, um, and, you know, uh, you're even able to automate it to the point where you will open your garage door with it. So there's a lot of different benefits there. On the downside, uh, voice control is not 100%. And I say that with the understanding is that uh, the listed applications that have it uh, sometimes understand, sometimes don't. The main benefits of the application is the ability to have uh, the use voice to control, but uh, they don't give you easy access to it. So when I say 100%, it's not just the recognition of the voice, but it's also access to it. Um, in one of the applications, Automation HD, I have to open up the application. By default, it opens up to the left panel. You're able to control it to go to the right, but you still have to scroll down, find voice, and then turn it on. Um, I found that uh, HAL had a better interface where you had to kind of leave, leave a notification uh, option on to be able to turn it on. Uh, and as well as if you were using the home buddy, you're able to set up a, you know, shortcuts on your desktop. But again, different applications have different standards. And I find that, you know, it makes a little bit of fragmentation and, uh, similar to the way Android is, but that's not the conversation here. Um, I like the ability to be able to use these functionalities on, for my home. I've had Nest for a while. I've done a, a Nest review application for their mobile app on my main channel. You guys can check that out. And I find that it's very nice, the ability to control your, uh, your systems and from a remote system, uh, from a remote location. Uh, before you get home, uh, the ability to turn on the lights when you're not home, you know, for home security purposes and so on. So those are some of the things you want to be, be aware of. Check out the applications if you have the home, uh, the Vera lights uh, unit and see how they work. Uh, if you don't, I'll leave some uh, links in the description on where you can uh, get these applications. And uh, hope you guys have found a, a new way to appreciate Android and some of the main uh, functionalities that they have. And uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you guys think in the description. I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to be able to turn off your office lights. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I do not understand the request. Dang it! <laughs>